What's up, what's up, all you fantasy football heads out there? It's your boy Quan, about to give you the rundown of what happened week 14, aka round one of the playoffs in our Dirty South 3 Yahoo League. Okay? Now, we had two games which were going to be the decisive games to find out who go against teams 1 and 2 who had bye weeks last week. You know what I mean? So, out of the two games, my team too hot for TV. Had a nice match against against my cousin's team, you know what I'm saying, King Street Wildcats. But we came out on top at the last minute thanks to the incomparable, the remarkable, the incredible Tom Brady, baby. I think he got me like 35 plus points or whatever like that. And so, you know what I'm saying. I think him, in addition to one other person, I think I had Jared Mayo, you know what I'm saying, defense, those two guys together, bam, came through with the dub, you know what I'm saying, now, I know I got a little too much detail, but hey, I can express myself, my forum, you know what I mean, now, in the next game, we had the Duke heavy hitters going against Black Rain, and Duke came out on top. You know what I'm saying? About 15 points, 87 to 72. So, going into week 15, which for us is round two of the playoffs, the winners of these games will go to the championship game to see who comes out as the champion. Okay? Now, we're going to have number one dollar boys. They're going to be going against the Duke heavy hitters. Okay? Now, during the season, when they matched off, you know what I'm saying? When they went against each other, Duke won. Okay, so, do you think we could see another win for Duke Heavy Hitters to take out the number one Dollar Boys in the playoff? Or, will Dollar Boys play in true number one team fashion and come through with the victory? Who knows, we'll see what happens. In our other game, in our semifinals, we've got the number two Rough Riders against the number five Too Hot for TV, which is my team. Now, when we met in the season... Rough Riders got the best of my team, but I got to throw in a little kind of clause there that says that they lost, well, we lost by less than one point. I mean, it was so close, and I just knew that I won. You know, if we didn't have decimals and then two-digit decimals at that, it would have been a tie. It would not have been a loss. But anyway, that's the past. Now that I'm looking towards... The future now in these two games that are going on into the uh, you know what I'm saying final championship game dollar boys already have a lead of 12 to nothing because they had people in Thursday night's game and I myself also had people in Thursday night's game and I've got a lead of 21 to 6 so Rough Riders had somebody too okay now I'm hoping to come through with the dub I know everybody is but the only way we'll find out is to see what happens next week. You got to tune in, okay? All right. Peace.